Last time we talked about the elliptic curve, about adding the points and the inverse and so on, the point at infinity, okay? But that was very graphical. That was totally graphical. So, let's go to put some real value. Let's go to put some real code that we can do in parallel computing or we can put it in the whatever language you want to use, okay? Because graphical is nice, but it's not a fact. Okay, so let's go to start. So, we're going to start with uh, one specific uh, elliptic curve, which is with one rational um, element right here. And it is like this, right? Then we say, okay, I have, I have uh, this point, and this point, and then this point. Okay, well, this, this is a line. This is y equal lambda x plus b. Okay? This, this one is P1, which I will say is equal to X1, comma Y1, P2, which is equal to X2, comma Y2, and then this point, we say this P1, P2, which indeed is our inverse of P1 plus P2, because this is reflex right here, and this is P1 plus P2. Okay, so this one, this point right here, I will call this uh, point 3 equal to x3 comma y3. And the purpose of this uh, code is to find out, well, what is this? Well, this one is the same x value here, but it's only negative because it's the reflection, right? This is the inverse, as a matter of fact. It's the inverse. It reflects right here. So p3, well, this uh, p1 plus p2 should be equal to x3 minus y3. Just like that. Very, very easy, very simple. Okay? Okay, this one, it's a cubic function, right? So a cubic function is in the form of this, okay? Uh, with this x cubed plus a x squared plus b x plus c. Uh, it's what we say the last time. Well, this is y squared minus x cubed equal to ax plus b to some line. And then we're just putting everything in one side. Okay, that's cool. Now, this thing is y, right? So this is y, okay? But this is y squared. This is equal to y squared. But this is, uh, what is important for me to understand, which is the slope of this one? Well, the slope of this one is lambda, right? Lambda. So lambda is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? Which means, which means lambda times x2 minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1, right? So I will expand this, so yx2 minus lambda x1 equals y2 minus y1, and I will put everything in, the, in one side for the same terms. For example, I will say, well, y1, um, y1 positive minus lambda x1 is equal to y2 minus lambda x2. This is very important for me. Okay, cool. Okay, because we know y1, x1, we know y2, and we know x2, because this point and these points are given points, but this is what I want to get. Okay, cool, cool, though. Well, because I know these values, right? I know these values, I know this is my line. I will replace right here, okay? So if y is equal to this, so I will say, okay, well, if y squared is equal to lambda x plus b to the square should be equal to x cubed plus a x squared plus b x plus c. I will spin this part, okay? So this kind of became lambda squared x squared plus two times lambda x, right? Lambda x times b plus b squared. Use this part, okay? And this should be equal to uh, x cubed plus a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay, now I wanted to do grouping. Okay, that's very cool because I will keep the positive, the positive side. So this is x cubed, right? So minus lambda squared x squared uh, minus 2 lambda x b minus b squared plus a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay, it's getting a little bit messy, but. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to break out this in all my square terms. So, this is one square, and this is another square, correct? So, I have, 
I'm going to jump from here to here. So I'm going to have x cubed, right? Let's see. Uh, plus a minus lambda squared times x squared, which is this part. Okay? A, that's, that's right. Now I will break out my x, x components. This is one x component. This is another x component. So plus, right? Uh, b, b minus 2 lambda b times x, cool, and then um, c minus b squared, plus c minus b squared, okay? I hope this is correct. Uh, I hope that's correct. I should be correct, right? Who knows? But we're going to take a look. Okay. This is a cubic, right? Because this is this is the power of three to the power of two, and then to the power of one, and this is like a this is this is a value. This is a constant. So perfect. Which means because it's a cubic, we should have this x cubed plus a minus lambda lambda squared x squared plus b minus two lambda b x plus c minus b squared equal to x minus x1, uh, x minus x2, and x minus x3. Because this will give me three groups, three rational groups, or three solutions, right? Okay, that, that's very good, right? Because what I can do now from here, I can pick up this part. I will resolve only for my x squared part, and I can say that um, lambda squared minus a, the opposite, mm -hmm, will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3, just like that, right? From here, I can resolve for x3. x3 should be equal to lambda squared minus a minus x1 minus x2. That, that what should be lambda squared minus a minus x1. Yes, this is correct. And if we know x, if we know x, then of course we know y, because if this is x, y, i, this is x, i, so y3 should be equal to uh, my slope from the two previous points at x3 plus b. This, this is the coordinates for this point. And that's what we want. That's what we want. Because with this, we can compute these points, we can find these coordinates, right, with that, uh, with that program. And then this is only adding two points, two rational points, which is the base of our elliptic curve cryptography. Okay, that's good. So this is the end result. That's, that's very good. It's just for addition of two points, not for point doubling. But we're going to prove mathematically, we're going to get the code, and then we're going to put it in a computer and then ready.